time for a new name on the block. That name is Rockback, and it's the new name for Terex Trucks. And this model is the RA40 Articulated Hauler. Now, if we can get the box the right way round, and that's clearly troubling to do, then we can eventually see that this model is made by NZG, and it's model number 1047. Let's get on and open up the box. And as you can see, it's a standard type of box, and inside there are the usual pair of expanded polystyrene trays. The trays are helpfully marked top and bottom, so we know which way is up. And we just need a sharp knife to cut the factory tape. Yep, no assembly to do, complete out of the box. Before we start, just a reminder that you can see a lot more about models on the Cranes Etc website, and the link to it is in the video description below. Also, if you want to know where you can buy scale models, then you can click on links on the website, including those in the shopping mall. And listed here are dealers that sell models in countries across the world. We go underground for a look at the detail, and in the casting at the front the NZG model number is marked as 973 and 1047, so this model obviously derives from the earlier Terex TA400. The chassis is very good and the tyres are particularly good. Big soft mud flaps are a nice touch. The front has that nice curved finish. The grille at the front seems to be formed by graphics and there are nicely highlighted lights and the various surfaces are decorated. There is a detailed filler cap on one side, and the grills are properly formed. The yellow handrails are metal, and they have a nice thinness. The wheel hubs are also well detailed. On the roof there's an aerial and plastic grab rails, and other details include lights. The windscreen wiper is modelled, and the mirror supports are metal. Looking behind the cap, there's lots of interesting detail, including many soft hoses. And you can see the steering pistons also. The steps up to the cab have a textured surface. Another nice touch is the imprinted grille behind the cab. And it's always good to see properly silvered mirrors. The hydraulic ram jackets are plastic, but with an excellent colour match, and soft hoses run to them. Moving on to the dump bed, and it's an all metal part, and it's got very sharp graphics applied. At the back of the model the detailing is very good, and there are small grills on the rear lights. Going underneath again, and the wheels are fixed to common axles and spin freely. And there's a nice articulation mechanism on the rear axles. The steering across the pivot point is controlled by hydraulic rams, and the range of movement is pretty decent. There is also some rotation possible at the pivot point, so the chassis deals with rough terrain. A small feature on both sides is the pivoting step, and that can be raised and lowered. Out we go into the cranes etc quarry. And a big plus point of the model is how smoothly it rolls. Here you can see the sharpness of the steering angle, and the model rolls equally well on the tightest turn. You can also see how much flexibility there is in the chassis to go over rough terrain. And the same is true of the pivoting rear axles. So for trucking along, this truck is trucking good. Next up for the rock back is the tipping of the dump bed, and it's quite smooth and it achieves an excellent angle.
Of course, a model like this always poses well with a suitable excavator. And another way you could use it is as a very good transport load. This is a typical high quality model from NZG. It has a high metal content and very nice details. And the functionality is also very satisfying. It is particularly good value from the Rockback shop. And overall as an articulated dump truck it is very good. Music 